What's up guys, Adrian Jr. here with Sun City Outdoors. And I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while. It's been quite a while. I skipped, I think it's been two Wednesdays now. So I'm guilty. Um, it's just a lot of stuff's been going on. I'm kind of explaining. I'm just, just gonna be me and Diesel today. I'm gonna do a little bit of a vlog. You can go down. But it's just gonna be a little bit of a, like a vlog today. Just go along with my day. We've got a couple things. Uh, I might stop by Sportsman's, talk to some guys. And I actually have some news for a lot of you guys that know me. Um, I just I just graduated. I graduated a year early. I went through this stuff. I've been working hard. I graduated a year early from high school through summer school. That's one reason I've been busy and a lot of stuff's been happening. Uh, also, I have been accepted into UNLV. So I'm going to UNLV starting, you know, soon and I'm going for a computer science degree. So that's going to be my major in computer science and I'm going to, you know, hopefully it'll help me uh, grow this channel and everything. And it's been kind of stormy too. It's like monsoon season or something. It's been just pouring down rain. Quite often it's humid, super humid. It's like 107 degrees out right now. Another thing that if you guys know me, you guys will know this, that I've been waiting to get sponsorships till I graduate high school. So I actually graduated just now. So I've been starting to contact some companies. I've been starting to contact some companies about sponsorships and it's been working out a little bit. Uh, as you guys know, I got the Hunter's Hall. They've been sending some stuff and I've got um, a company called King Camp. I think I just got a package in from them. So I'm gonna go check them out. And I've also got, um, just a couple other. I finally landed a, a camo company, a really awesome camo company. Uh, super excited to tell you guys about it. Uh, you guys will figure out who it is in like the next day or two when their package comes in. But uh, it should be awesome. There's a lot of stuff coming up. Got some tags and stuff. And there's a lot of stuff we're going to be looking at. Right now, I'm probably going to head out to the pet store or something. We're going to find something to do. This is my dad and I, Diesel also. So let's go. All right, I just caught a glimpse of my bow fishing gear, and that actually reminded me of something. Um, if, if I'm gonna, I know a couple of the managers at Sportsman's Warehouse around our, my area and stuff around the Vegas area and Henderson area. And I'm um, probably gonna try to talk them into letting me hold a couple seminars, like meet and greets, kind of seminar things about bow fishing or some of the stuff we know. And if that does happen, how many of you guys would go? If it does happen, it's probably gonna happen at the Sportsman's Warehouse down here in Vegas. I mean, not Vegas, in the Henderson area. There's one now in Henderson. And if I do hold a couple of seminars, they're gonna be the one here in Henderson. How many of you guys would come along? I'm just curious. It's gonna be like a meet and greet, probably maybe even a giveaway or something, I don't know. But if it happens, I'll let you guys know dates and stuff. And uh, I'm curious how many would actually be interested in coming and meeting me and maybe learning a couple tips or some advice or something. Hey right, guys, we just came back from the pet store. We, we, we always just check it out every once in a while. We saw these catfish, just couldn't pass up on them. They looked too cool. They were kind of pricey, but I mean, they're, they're just some fish you see every once in a while that are too nice to pass up. We also got these other guys that clean rocks. I don't want to open the bag to get them right now. Everything's in my lap. But also, uh, we just got a package in the mail. We're going to go ahead and check it out real quick. We've got a couple things coming in, plan on coming in. I'm going to show you guys. My uncle found this at our yard sale. And, um, I guess I guess they thought it'd be a good idea to try to contain diesel in it. Dude, when he gets hyper, he's just, you'll just see him run back and forth and run in circles around our dog and stuff. But Yeah, he'll jump that thing now. He's too crazy. He's yeah. too wild. So we're probably gonna get rid of it sometime, but uh, he'll probably jump it now, but we're literally pulling up right now to our, our little mailbox, and we're gonna go ahead and check what we got in the mail. It's way too hot. All right, guys, we're coming up on my house right now. We got that big package. Uh, when I get home, I'm gonna unpackage it and show you guys a little bit of what's in it and stuff, but bear with me, guys. Uh, this is a vlog. Um, I usually don't vlog, you know, my days and stuff, but I wanted to test it out. Um, go ahead, comment down below if you guys like, if you want to see more of just, you know, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I think it's boring. Some people might not. If you guys want to see it, heck, I'll post more if you guys like them. Yeah. Alright guys, we're home. I'm um, about to unpack everything, but real quick, this is my fish tank. You guys can see the fish are growing in here. You guys have seen this tank a couple times, and, um... They're getting bigger, they're getting a lot bigger. And I think I've showed you guys this tank before too, right here. The baby tank. Um, there are just so many babies in here. There's a balloon molly we got it's having babies and all that. We can't keep them from having babies now. They're just everywhere. We got a bunch of cobra guppies in there and everything, but we also got new fish. We got some catfish. These are the catfish I showed you guys. Um, the ones that just look too good not to, not to put in, not to get for our tank. There's our heads. So always, I'm just gonna set them in here real quick. To float them for a little bit, let the water, let the water temperature change so it's not too hard on the fish. Here's the other guys we got. And I said I couldn't show you guys because my laps were too. I don't even know if you guys can really see them. Forgot what they're called, but um, these guys right here, 
they kind of feed off all the algae on the rocks and stuff. So they're pretty cool. They're gonna help keep the tank clean. I'm gonna float those guys too. We'll just leave them in there while we unpackage everything else. Kind of show you guys. Show you guys all the stuff. What are you doing right there, Diesel? In between my chair. He wanted to see what's in the package also. Oh, he's gonna see. All right, guys, I said I was gonna mention, uh, tell you guys who's been sending these packages like the one I just got. Uh, it's a company called King Camp. As you guys can see, they have sent me all the stuff within literally like the past five days. It started off with me contacting them and I was saying um, I got some hunts and stuff going on and they wanted to help me out and um, test out their new gear and their new products and stuff for my upcoming tags because I got a bunch of them. And literally, they've sent me, these are blow up mattresses. They sent me a couple of these. They've sent me a tent. I think this is their tent right here. They've sent me a giant tent. They've sent me um, sleeping bags. These are their sleeping bags. These are super warm, like cold weather sleeping bags. They sent me some of those. This is another tent right here. They sent me another tent. The other one was a five man. This one's a four man tent. They sent me cots to sleep on, an outdoor shower. And they sent me just a bunch of stuff. Like here's another air mattress and they even got another package for me. <laughs> Let's see what this is. What is this? Oh, another tent. Dang. This is their third tent. This one's a, a, a little tent. And they sent us a giant chair. So we're gonna have to check this out right now. Got a knife, can you pass me that knife right there? All right, we're just gonna open this thing up real quick. All right, another tent. Um, oh, this is a three-man tent right here. Nice, compact. This one's actually super light, too. As you guys can see, I'm holding it with one hand. And I'm gonna have to set that up one of these days just to check it out. Um, this chair. Oh, man, these are one of those good chairs, too. A lot of people like these chairs. This is actually really cool. I've never personally owned one of these chairs, but I'm gonna be sitting in this one a lot. I'll tell you guys what, it's comfortable. Well, there's even a seat right here for you, Diesel. Come on. You can just relax with me. He's gonna be going on some of our hunts. Got a little seat for him, too. He's like, get me off of here. <laughs> he doesn't like it. He's getting big. I'll check on these fish really quick. It's been quite a while since we put them in the bags. Look like they're ready. There they are right there. I'm gonna go ahead and let them out now. All right, I'm just gonna pour these guys out in our little small one gallon tank. We're just gonna use a kind of a transfer thing. Dang, they put this rubber band across this bag like crazy. You can't even open this thing. And there you go. So, we're just gonna pour them in here, and I got little nets I'm gonna fish them out with. Try to get that the red that I don't spill. This is on top of these. Oh. There we go. All right, I got this little baby in. I'm just gonna get him out of here. This is the best way I thought we could do it. Oh, there's Diesel wanting to eat him. There's one right in the tank. Did he go out? Yeah. Oh, he's getting eaten. My what? What ate him? He's gone. They ate him. No. <laughs> oh, where'd he no, go? No, they, they chased him, but they didn't do nothing. <laughs> where'd he go? I think he's hiding. I guess so. He went behind the rock. Yep, well, we got three more. There we go, got two. That's a pretty expensive meal if, if yep. they eat them. All right, let's see where these ones go. Straight to the bottom. Oh, they're actually swimming around. Oh, dang. See, he's attacking them. Yeah, he is. Dang, that dude's mean. Leave him alone, leave him alone. See, he'll just, he does that. He'll attack them for a minute and then. That fish is stunned. He's over in the corner back there. Is he's he trying to scare him away. He's like attacking him. He's over there upside down in that corner now. He's not dead, though. Oh, he, he's good. He'll be fine. Our fish are mean. They always do that to new fish, and then they leave them alone after a day or so. All right, here we go. Last one, if he wants to get in. There we go. Last one of these bottom feeders. Let's see. Here we go. There he goes. He's over there in the back corner. Put himself on the glass. All right, now we got catfish. Oh, yeah, those fish. They're pretty nice. I like channel catfish. Not one of them. Oh, 
nó nó Oh, dang, that looks tight already. These are cool. They're pretty nice. Yeah, they're actually blending in pretty Hopefully well. they don't eat other fish when they get bigger. This dude's even still trying to attack them. <laughs> the guy said that they don't eat fish, but we'll see. My touch was attacking. So all this water, one quick tip I can give you guys. That's cool, he's already eating off the rock, but um, one tip is, you know, you never want to mix the pet store's water with your water. So all this water we just got, we're gonna go pour in our grass or something, rocks. We're not using this water, that's why I separated them. Have to clean all this stuff up before my mom gets home, all this king camp stuff laying around. Makes this room look, look like there's a big, like a tornado flew through this thing. <laughs> you know, guys don't wanna mess with her. She's a, a black belt in jujitsu and uh, she specializes in weaponry. She uses a chunk line and a, a belt most of the time, so you gotta run when she sees all this. Look. All right, everything's all clean now in here. It's a little bit more manageable, looks a little better. So, uh, got a little bit of free time now. Diesel's got a ton of energy. He's doing all that running I told you guys he does. So, I think I'm about to take him on a walk real quick because he needs to burn off some of his energy. So, this is all I'm gonna take on his little, uh, his little leash. We always bring like a little Tupperware and a thing of water because it's hot out here and you need to give your dogs a lot of water or else they're gonna be hurting out there just like you will, so. All right, guys, I jumped in the truck. I heard Diesel was going on a walk. I'm gonna go help try to train this guy. And uh, plus, I need to get out and stop being a couch potato. Most of you guys that know me know that I retired. I'm an army guy, 13 Bravo. And um, now this is my hobby, messing around with dogs, hunting, fishing. Uh, I've always loved to hunt fish. And now, you know, that I have time, no more deployments, no more stuff like that. I actually have time. And, I can spend it with my family, taking them out, teaching them, you know, the great outdoors. But um, lately, it's like these kids teach me with YouTube and everything else. It's crazy. They 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 know more than I do. It's probably in my best interest to stay in shape because I know Adrian's gonna walk, want to walk to the edge of the earth to chase these mule deer and elk, and um, uh, hopefully, I can keep up. Think I can keep up? I think so. You're no. actually. I, I <laughs> no, know. I, you can. I'll be able to keep up. I'm in yeah. pretty good shape. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get out there in that heat, though. That heat is. It's killer. It's killer. I, I, haven't, I haven't experienced heat like this since, uh, you know. Well, I won't even say Iraq. Actually, from my hometown. I'm actually from the Mojave Desert, way out in Death Valley. And the heat out there is, is sickening. Like, you, you, you don't even want to go outside in that heat. You just stay indoors, you turn on the AC, and you miss a turn or what? No, but I'm just driving by so you don't have to. I'm definitely walking every night, exercising, stretching, you know, Good stretching training. out the old knees. I was airborne for a little while in the military, and, and everybody that's, that's gone to airborne school and done, you know, 20, 30, 40 jumps, you know your knees just get destroyed. So hopefully, you know, I'm good to go. All right, let's do it. So as of right now, we're just gonna keep him on the leash till we get down there and then maybe let him off for a couple minutes to run around. All right, so we just got here and he already needs water. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. All right, so these things right here, these very green washes in Vegas, we're out in the desert and it does rain every once in a while. And because it rains, they, they build these washes in between all the houses and they're pretty nice areas. There's a lot of quail. There's coyotes back here and bobcats and everything. But um, yeah, you can see there's houses all along here. And then there's like a, a river down here. They call it a wash. And we bring the dog down here and he chases quail. Go some quail. Diesel. On a rabbit. There goes a rabbit. There goes some quail. Let's see what he does. Over here, but they came from right there, huh? Yeah, the quail came from over there. He's smelling it. Oh, Go get the bird. Go get the bird. Go get the bird. Where's the bird? I can hear them. I can hear them. They're all in here. There's a duck right there. Diesel, go get the. 
Go get the bird. Funny bird, this is a funny bird. He's in the shade. Diesel, get out of the shade. Go get the bird. Go get the bird. It's like the duck he's been practicing with. Go get the bird. He saw it. Yeah, he saw it. He's worried about being in the shade right now. Not quite hot enough to burn his feet, but it's still hot. This doesn't get as hot as the black asphalt. Over there, a ton of coil just ran across. Let's get them on those and then we'll get out of here. Get the bird, Diesel. Get the bird. That's supposed to be you. That's your job. Go get the bird. All right, Diesel, suck up that AC. Yeah, it's way too hot. He's what, 10 weeks old? Yeah, he's about 10 weeks he's, old. He's 10 weeks old. He, he's still, yeah, he's super hot, so. He's still a bit young to be pushing out in this kind of heat, so. Yeah, we usually take him really early or really late, but then, you know, there's really no quail moving or anything, so we wanted to test it during the day to see if he would actually get on something and chase something, but. That was a fail, it's too hot. Yeah. No, you can't go. Because if something happens to you, you weigh 200 or something pounds, I can't carry it's you. It's been a pretty productive day, as you guys can see, Diesel's pretty tired now. What the? Yeah, so he's pretty tired now. And um, it's been a long day, uh, pretty productive. We did quite a bit of stuff. And um, as far as you know, there's a bunch of stuff coming up you guys can expect in the future. I'm gonna try to post more, as you guys know I'm now <laughs> a college college student and um we should have a little more time on our hands actually I, I think i'm gonna get like every tuesday off now too so a lot of the people you like seeing on the channel actually only get like mondays tuesdays and wednesdays off which were days i was busy so now like uh rashawn uh you guys really like seeing him on a lot of the videos i've noticed you guys always comment about him and stuff um or you guys will be seeing a lot more of him of us hunting with him and stuff and as far as you know tags go um, I've told you guys this before. We've got a bunch of tags. I've got three deer tags Or no, I've got yeah three deer tags My dad's got a deer tag and a cow elk tag and we've got a bunch of friends with tags and stuff, too so um, When it comes to our tags my dad literally has one of the best tags in the entire state of Nevada It's a muzzleloader deer tag and uh, we plan on getting a pretty big buck on that tag and took me five years. Yeah, it took my dad literally five years to draw that tag you know, he's been so long without killing a deer, but if he kills a big one, I mean, it's completely worth it in my opinion. And um, my my tags actually start up really, I mean, all of our tags actually start up really soon. Um, I'm actually headed out August 8th to try to get my deer. We're going to go out a couple days early in my season. It starts August 10th, and we're going to go ahead and try to fill that archery. And um, we've got some friends, like our friend Nick, a real good friend. You guys have seen him before on the javelina hunt and stuff. Um, he's got a bull elk tag. So we plan on going out there. He's got a really good tag on that archery, so he has a, a chance to harvest a, a potential giant out in that unit he's got. But we've got a lot of stuff planned. And um, also, if you guys got any comments, you know, you're just starting a YouTube channel or anything, um, go ahead and comment them down below. Uh, I read through all the comments. And part of the, mainly one of the reasons is because um, a lot of negative comments come through, and I delete the negative comments. So there's, you know, sometimes there's quite a bit. And I always make sure to delete them because uh, the way YouTube works also is because no matter, you know, what kind of comments you get, comments look good and they help your videos a lot. But I still delete them because uh, although it could be like a lot of bad comments or whatever and it makes the video look good, I don't want all, you know, these new hunters or anything. I don't want anybody to have to read through all of those bad comments. So I always make sure to manage them a little bit. And uh, so if you're on here about a comment something bad, I guarantee you within the uh, next hour or two, if you post it, it's going to be deleted and you're probably going to be blocked too. So uh, that's just a little heads up. But other than that, you guys can expect some serious things. I mean, deer hunting is literally right around the corner and we're going to be getting pretty serious with that really soon. So Diesel's also going to be hunting a lot. He's tired. We just finished the hike right now. But um, you guys should be seeing, expecting to see a lot. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors. No way, you really slept in here last night? Yeah. <laughs> How comfortable is it?
Perfect. Better than the ground and the truck beds. Better than sleeping on the floor? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised the dog didn't try to break in. I heard some scratching something. He tried to get in. I thought it was a bear. 